Welcome everyone, today we are checking out BitBrowser CloudPhone. It is basically an Android emulator that runs in the cloud, but it is built specifically for people who need to manage multiple accounts without getting flagged. So if you are running an online business and need different accounts for different reasons, but you are keep getting blocked, well BitBrowser CloudPhone might solve that headache. I'm going to show you exactly how it works, work through creating profiles together, and yes, I have got some free vouchers to give away at the end. So stick around for that. Now what is exactly BitBrowser's cloud phone? So here's the deal. BitBrowser cloud phone is not your typical Android emulators like BlueStacks or Knox. This thing runs entirely in your browser, which means no heavy software adding of your computer's resources. Think of it is like this. Instead of having three different phones sitting on your decks for three different Instagram accounts, you get three virtual phones running in the cloud. Each one has its own unique fingerprint, different device info, location, carrier, even sensor data. To any app or website, each profile looks like a complete Safari real phone. And the company behind this is BitBrowser. They are known for their anti-detect browsers. So basically they took that same fingerprint technology and applied it to the mobile emulation. Now if you want to watch a dedicated tutorial and review video for BitBrowser, then I have a video for that. I will link it in the description you can watch there. Now let me break down what makes this different from regular emulators. First, real device fingerprinting. This is the big one. Each profile got matched with real phone parameters. Samsung, OnePlus, Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi, whatever you need. It is not just changing the device name. It is mimicking the actual hardware signature these phones produce. Second, automatic proxy integration. You can set up different proxy IPs for each profile with one click. So your Instagram account can appear to be in New York while your TikTok account looks like it is in London. Third, no local installation. Everything runs in your browser, your computer doesn't get bogged down, and you can access your profiles from anywhere. And fourth, script support. They have ADB and root access, plus a script marketplace. So if you are into automation, you can run custom scripts or use ones other have made. Now let me briefly show you about the pricing. Here's where it gets interesting. They have two main pricing models. The first one is the time-based payment. 0.03 cents for 24 hours per profile. You only pay when you are actually using a profile. If you need 10 profiles but only use 3 today, you only pay for 3. There's no limit on how many profiles you can create. Second, temporary use. 0.07 for 15 minutes, kept at $1.60 per day, which is good for quick tasks or testing. Honestly, compared to buying multiple phones or even other cloud phone services, this is pretty reasonable. BitCloud phone is being positioned as the number one pick for professional and businesses in 2025 or beyond for multi-account mobile management. Now let me give you some examples of when this is actually makes sense. First, if you are a e-commerce seller, if you are selling on multiple platforms in different regions, you need accounts that look local. Instead of dealing with VPNs and getting flagged, each profile appears genuinely local. Second, if you are doing social media management, running client accounts across different platforms without them interfering with each other, each account stays completely isolated. Fourth, apps testing. Developer can test how their apps behave on different devices and regions without buying dozens of phones. And then content creation. TikTok creators managing multiple niches can keep their accounts completely separate, which helps with the algorithm. Alright, now let's move on to the important part. Now I'm gonna show you how you can actually create some profiles so you can see how this works. Now before creating your cloud phone, first of all you need to download BitBrowser. I have put the link in the description. Click that link and you will be on this page. This is the official homepage of BitBrowser. So here in this page you have to click on sign up now. And that brings you to the sign up page. At first enter a username, then create a strong password, and then enter your email address, then click on send code, enter that code here, and then agree to their agreements, and click on sign up now. Once you do that, your registration will be successful, and you will get the option to download the software client. So here just click on download, and then select your operating system. Once it finished downloading, install the software. And once it installed, open BitBrowser. Now you will be in the login page. So enter the email address and password that you have just recently registered with, and click on login. Once you logged in, you will be on the dashboard of BitBrowser. And you can see this is a very clean interface. And here on the left section, you get the option to create browser profiles and phone profiles. Now, if you want to create browser profiles, I have a separate video for that. As I earlier mentioned, you can watch that video, link in the description. Now, here's the important part. Select on phone profiles. This is where you can create our cloud phone. Once you select on phone profiles, here you can claim up to $1 cloud phone trial. So click on claim now. And this will be credited to your cloud phone trial phones. Now let's start creating the cloud phone. So here at the top, you will see this add option. So click on add. 
and just right to it a new menu will appear and here you can create our virtual android cloud phone all right here i'm going to make two different profiles one for instagram and one for tiktok each with different locations and proxies so at first on the type you have to select your android version so here i will go with android 15 for this instagram profile next enter your platform name I will call this Instagram US East. Just name it the way you like. Also, you can add a group name to organize your profiles and add remarks if needed. Now for the most important part, proxy configuration. I'm using proxies from ProxySeller for this setup. They are one of the best proxy providers I have worked with. And I actually have a full review and tutorial about them linked in the description. If you want to learn more about choosing good proxies, then you can watch that video. Now here, importantly, you have to enter the host, port, username and password of the proxy that you have bought. So as you can see, this is my proxy seller dashboard. And here's one of the proxy that I have recently bought. So this IP address is going to be the host of this proxy. I'm going to copy it. And if I click on the question mark, I get all these port, login and password option. So proxy seller provide two type of ports. If you select HTTP, they have different port for that. And if you want to set up with SOX 5, then they have a different port number for that as well. As phone profiles can be set up with SOX proxies, you're going to copy the SOX port here. And then we're also going to copy the login and password details here as well. And now here we have to correctly fill up all these details. So let me quickly fill this up. And once you filled up, importantly, you need to check the proxy if it is working or not. So just click on check proxy. Okay, the connection test got failed. The primary reason behind this is I had not selected IP2 location under lookup channel. So here right to lookup channel, we have to select IP2 location. And then now let's click on check proxy. And there it is, as you can see, the connection test has been passed. Here exactly I have my correct IP address, location, time zone, city and everything. So make sure your proxy details are correct here because this determines where your profiles appears to be located. By the way, I have got a 50% discount code for proxy seller that I will share at the end of this video. Now next, importantly under fingerprint settings, I'm keeping everything as default. Bit browser automatically configures real phone parameters based on your location. So we have to make sure all these toggle are turned on and everything will be based on our IP. Now that's done. Now let's click on confirm and the cloud phone profiles get created. Now let's open it. The profiles takes about a minute to boot up. So we'll wait. And here we go. Our Instagram cloud phone is ready. Notice how it shows all the typical Android interface. This is the homepage of our Android cloud phone. And if we just scroll up, we'll be in the app menu. Now this is a very clean stock Android cloud phone. So that's great. Now right to it, you can also switch to landscape mode. You have all these volume options. If you want to change the resolution, you can do that here as well. And if you want to enable root privileges, you can do that here as well. And here you get the option to restart the cloud phone. Now here you can see we have Google Play. So here you can just sign into your Gmail account and you can start downloading any app. Here in this case, we can download Instagram and the Instagram will be based on, on our proxy. So the app, location, everything will be based around our proxy, which is US New York. So that's why proxy is very important in this case. And also we can use Chrome browser to visit any website. We can log into our Instagram account from Chrome here as well. All right, now let's create another cloud phone. So right now I'm going to create a profile for TikTok with a different location. Again, select the Android version. I will use Android 12 this time for variety. And for the platform name, I'm going to write TikTok. And for now, we're going to skip group and remark. Now let's move on to the important section proxy. Now here at first on the lookup channel, we're going to select IP2 location. And for this one, I'm using a UK proxy from proxy seller. So let me quickly fill up my proxy details. Now this profile is based on London and here's the different proxy, different location, completely separate digital fingerprint from our past profile. Now again, keep the fingerprint settings as default and click confirm. Now we have created our second profile. Now let's open this. Perfect. Now here you can see we have just created two completely different virtual phones, each with their own identity. You can see how each profile is completely isolated. The Instagram profiles thinks it's a OnePlus phone in New York, while the TikTok profiles appears as a Vivo device in London. And if I want to create another profile, these profiles will also be based on a different device like Samsung. So to any app or service, these look like entirely different users with different phones. All right, here's what you have been waiting for. Bit Browser gave me a limited number of free cloud phone vouchers to share with you. This led you try out the service without paying anything upfront. Here's how to get one. Leave a comment and mention Bit Browser cloud phone in the caption. And that's it. I will directly reply you with the voucher code. So comment soon before they are gone. I will be giving this out on a fast come fast serve basis. So once you get your voucher code, here's how to use it. On your Bit Browser dashboard, go to cost control. Now at the top, you will get this coupon option. So select on it and here click on redeem cloud phone trial credit and just enter the coupon code that you get. 
and click on exchange and the voucher amounts get added to your account for cloud phone uses. Pretty simple process you can start testing profiles right away. So Bitbrother cloud phone fills a specific need. If you are managing multiple accounts and need them to appear genuinely different, this does the job well. The pricing is reasonable for professional use and the fingerprinting technology seems solid based on what I've tested. Is it perfect? No. You actually need good internet and cost can add up. But if you are serious about multi-account management and tired of getting flagged or banned, it's worth trying out. If you want to check it out, I will put my affiliate link in the description. You will get a 10% discount on any paid plan when you are ready to upgrade, plus access to those free vouchers that I have mentioned. And speaking of discounts, if you need quality proxies for your profiles, I am also sending a 50% off coupon code for proxy seller in the description. They are the proxy provider I use and recommend and I have a complete review and setup tutorial for them linked below as well. And remember to mention Bitbrowser Cloud Phone in your comment to grab your free voucher and let me know in the comments what you plan to use it for. That's it for today. If this helped you out, hit the like button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.